Hey guys, how you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tino and I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be reviewing Swiss Arabian's new perfume and this is no other than Shagav Oud Tonka. Before I go ahead and continue with this video, if you just click my thumbnail and you just see me for the first time, my name is Tino. I'm a lover of perfumes, beauty, and lifestyle. If that is all your jush, you know what to do. Click that subscribe button so you can be notified of new content. And also don't forget to click the post notification so you can be notified when I do post that new content. And if you're liking the video and you like reviews, what are you doing? Just click that like button. It shows that you support my channel and it lets YouTube notify that you like my videos and it helps my channel, of course. Now, let us get on with the purpose of this video. So we're going to be talking about Shagaf Utanka. I have gotten a chance to try this fragrance for two weeks. I mean, two weeks, guys. I've been wearing this fragrance and I can tell you the deets on this fragrance. Before we go ahead, I love this fragrance. It's a love for me. I can't say nothing else but love. But I'm going to tell you why I love it and I'll tell you all about the notes and everything that you need to know so you can make an informed decision on whether you want to purchase this fragrance or if you want to skip it. But I'm going to tell you, it's a love. So now this fragrance is a very vanilla, almond, tonka base, sweet, nutty fragrance. It's very warm, spicy as well. It has a little aromaticness to it. It's very aromatic, that's what I meant. I just like to make up words as I go. But this fragrance just puts me in that choke hold. This is that fragrance that would do that to you. So the fragrance opens up with some almond. This almond is a candied almond. It's like a sugared almond, like they sprinkle powder sugar on almonds for you. And then you get that blast of cinnamon. That cinnamon is a very sweet cinnamon as well. It's very spicy, very sweet. And then you get that orange blossom in there. Guys, when I tell you this fragrance is better than BDK's Velvet Tonka, no one would believe me. If you have Velvet Tonka and you haven't tried this fragrance, this fragrance only cost $44.99 on Joma Shop. Get your hands on it and come back to my video and leave me a comment and tell me Tino you're right because I'm telling you this fragrance is such a beautiful rendition of Velvet Tonka they were trying to do Velvet Tonka but they overdid it and they did it well it is really beautiful and then you get that beautiful Turkish rose I love rose you guys already know this this is not something new if you've been watching me for a long time you know I love rose I can't do nothing about it I love it I Adore rose, any kind of rose. I don't care if it's Damax rose, I don't care if it's water rose, Turkish rose, Bulgarian rose, any rose in general. And this rose is really jammy, it's really sweet. It's like the rose petals, honey. And when it starts to dry down, you get that tonka bean and the vanilla, they all intertwine with that amber wood. It's just a touch of woodiness that gives this fragrance its own mm. Now the difference you get is that there's no tobacco. I think in Velvet Tonka, there is a tobacco note in there, but here, I don't think there's a tobacco note. And this is what makes this fragrance way astonishing and alluring. It is very gourmand, in my opinion. If you're not a fan of gourmand fragrances and you like your, your fruity floor, fufu la la, you're not gonna like this. But if you like something sweet, something cinnamony you're gonna love this fragrance it's such a stunning stunning fragrance from swiss arabian swiss arabian has been doing the most i swear to god they've been doing really good fragrances and i can tell you the shaga food line is amazing all of them are amazing from azrak to amar from the original to this one i also heard they have two new ones that are out um shaga food royale and shaga food elixir 
I am more interested in Elixir. Um, Shag of Oud Royale is not really interesting to me, but if you guys want to see a review, let me know so I can pick that up so I can, you know, test it out and see if I like it. Let's just keep talking about this because I'm going off on a tangent. I'm going to start talking about something else other than Shag of Oud Tonka. Now, this fragrance, Projection, I would give it a 9 out of 10. It projects. Even just the test trip, this whole room is already smelling like it. I only sprayed it on the test trip, honey. Not on my body. On the test trip. It's like you can smell it. You don't even need to put it to your nose. It's like there in the air. It smells really, really strong. I love that about this. Now, the Siage, 9.5 out of 10. You are going to leave a scent trail everywhere you go with this fragrance. Everywhere you walk, people are going to smell you. People that are walking in your scent trail will smell you and they will stop you and ask you, what are you wearing? People are going to want to know because it smells really delicious. It smells really good. It smells really appealing. People will, will like the scent. This is going to be a mass appealing scent and I think people are going to want to buy this once they know how cheap it is and then another thing is that the longevity on this guys no kidding this is 10 hours on me and this is just for the time i had it on i had it on till the time i took a shower so who knows if it even goes past 10 hours but this is how long i've had it on before i had to take a shower this is a really great scent this is a scent that you can wear for date night, this is a scent that you can wear to parties because you will be smelt. People will smell you. Now this fragrance is a cold weather fragrance. It's not a fragrance for summer. I feel like the heat will make it too overwhelming. People will probably wanna die when they smell this. I think this is more fall appropriate or spring or winter fragrance. Summer, I will not think this is gonna be something I would wear in the summer. It's really strong. It's really, polarizing almost so i love this i really really love it it's up my alley it's what i like i love fragrances like this you guys know i like beast mode and this is one that i really 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 recommend i really really enjoy it i can't say any more good things about this this is really really good if you guys enjoy this review and you like to see more reviews on the Shagaf Oud line, please leave me a comment down below. If you already picked up Shagaf Oud Tanka, let me know your thoughts. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Let me know all your thoughts down below. We're all friends here. We don't have to like the same things and we don't have to hate the same things either. So if you have any comments about this, leave your comments down below. I will link the fragrance down in the bottom bar or it's gonna be on the video too if you guys want to make a purchase off this thank you guys so much for staying tuned if you enjoy this video and you like to see more videos like this make sure you are subscribed to this channel if you're not and if you're already subscribed make sure you're hitting that post notification because I will be posting a lot of reviews very soon of a lot of Middle Eastern videos I do have a Middle Eastern haul coming up I have a lot of perfumes to show you guys new stuff that i added to my collection i'm getting addicted to middle eastern fragrances i really really getting addicted like it's just unreal it's like really stupid at this point i love middle eastern fragrances and you guys are going to see my love for it in a lot of videos and also i will be uh doing um other kind of videos like best middle eastern fragrances you guys like those kind of videos so i think i'm gonna do a best of middle eastern fragrance so you guys can kind of know out of the ones i've tried what i recommend what i like so far and what i think you guys should get so thank you guys again so much for watching i love you guys and i will see you in another video bye